Hi, this is Janice from Space to Relax and the video you're about to watch is a replay of a live class I taught on Zoom. These classes are free of charge for everyone to join, so please invite your family and friends. They're suitable for beginners and those of you with more Qigong experience. If you're watching this video on YouTube, then please don't forget to hit the red subscribe button so that you don't miss any future videos from me. I hope you enjoy the class. You're very welcome to today's Qigong class. And today's class is focusing on the chest and the lungs. It's all about opening up the chest, cleansing the lungs, getting rid of any stale air from the lungs, any stale qi, and also thereby helping to enhance and strengthen our immune system. So a very common problem in today's modern day world is we spend a lot of time kind of hunched forwards, whether that be driving or at um, a, a desktop, at the, at the computer, on the mobile phone. And when we hunch our shoulders forwards, this compresses the whole front part of the chest area. And that can cause a problem both physically in that you're not taking in as much air, you're not breathing as efficiently because everything's squashed up and thereby you feel more tired. But also mentally and emotionally, you can feel a little bit more kind of sluggish uh, mentally. You can feel a little bit low mood wise as well and not quite so kind of light and energized. So the solution to this is to open up the chest. So rather than being in this hunched up posture, to actually open things up, broadening things, everything across the collarbones, across the front of the chest area, and thereby opening up the lungs. And we can use some Qigong exercises to help us to do that. And when we do these exercises, what they do is they create the conditions whereby the qi can flow more freely into and through the lungs and then down through the lung channel, which externally starts here just under the collarbones and then runs down the arm and out through the thumb. So we'll be looking a little bit at lung channel opening as well today. So in terms of Chinese medicine, the lungs are responsible physically for breathing, for the efficiency of our breathing, but uh, also they're involved in fluid metabolism. And also in terms of emotional component, they're involved in the emotion or connected with the emotions of sadness and grief and also involved with our sense of uh, self-worth, uh, self-esteem, of value of oneself. So very much so with the lungs, um, there's a strong emotional component as well as a physical one. And I put a link when I sent out the replay from this video to a research article where the researchers were observing people who were diagnosed as clinically depressed, and they were looking at the effect of this upright posture on their mood and their energy levels. And they found some quite positive results. So you might find that interesting reading as well. So to begin with then, let's start with our standing position. Now I'm going to teach this whole class standing, but if at any stage you want to sit down for any of these exercises, if you feel a little bit tired, then please do find a nice seated, comfortable position for yourself. So standing or sitting, first of all, you want to look down at your feet and check that they're shoulder width distance apart and the feet are parallel. So you want toes facing forwards and you want to feel that your weight is evenly distributed between the balls of the feet and your heels. So maybe even just rock backwards and forwards a little bit just to see where the weight is at the moment and coming to a middle position where you feel you're kind of 50-50 with the weight between the balls of the feet and the heels, coming to rest in that position. And then just checking that there's a nice soft bend in your knees, tuck your tailbone under, so really feeling the lower back extending and flattening a little bit. There should be a, a tiny curve in the lower back, um, but nothing so that you feel as though your back is tight in any way. And you do that just by tucking the tailbone on, down and under and lifting in the abdomen a little at the front. Check that the shoulders are nice and relaxed, shaking the arms out. And also checking there's length in the back of the neck, so tucking the chin back towards the throat. 
And now just for a moment, close your eyes. Breathing in through the nose and out through the nose. So the mouth is closed. The tongue rests on the roof of the mouth with the tip of the tongue resting against the back of the upper teeth. And as you breathe in, taking the breath into the lower belly. So breathing in, feel the belly expand as though you're blowing up a balloon. And that expansion is in all directions. So forwards, sideways, back towards the spine and the kidneys as well. And also don't forget up and down too. So imagine your abdomen as this ball or a balloon and it's inflating in all directions as you inhale. And then as you exhale, see that ball or that balloon getting smaller and shrinking. There should be no real effort with this breath. Aim to enjoy a smooth, soft, and silent breath. No huffing and puffing needed. Just a few more breaths like this to bring yourself into your practice today. And now gently opening the eyes. <clears throat> so we're going to work with three simple exercises today. And once you've learned them, I'm going to obviously be explaining quite a lot about them as we go through the class today. But once you've learned them, this whole little routine should maybe only take you 10 minutes. So it's a really quick and easy way in which you can open up and cleanse the lungs and the chest area from any kind of waste air, any stale air that's hanging around in there, and also then thereby help to enhance and strengthen your immune system. So this first exercise is a breathing exercise. So we're just going to be working a little bit with the breath that we've been using already, but in a slightly different way, because for most of you who've been with me before and done any Qigong with me before, you know that we usually breathe in and out through the nose. But today, some of the exercises are going to involve expelling waste air through the mouth. This exercise is called cleansing the lungs. So for this one, what I'd like you to do is just place one hand on top of the other, just over your lower belly area, this area that we call Dan Tien in Qigong. So the hands are just resting, nice and relaxed, shoulders nice and relaxed. And just breathing into your belly as you were doing at the beginning. A few abdominal breaths. Feel the belly expand as you're breathing and feeling the belly shrink as you breathe out. So what you're going to do next is you're going to be expelling any waste, any stale air from the lungs by using a method which improves the flexibility of your diaphragm, which is this muscle that runs along the bottom of the rib cage, below the lungs. So, I'll show you first of all, just watch me continue with your abdominal breath as you're watching. So I'm going to take a breath in through the nose. And as I breathe out, as I exhale, I see that ball shrinking in my mind's eye. And at the same time, I'm going to help it to shrink a little bit more by pressing just very gently on the lower abdomen area, pressing in. And in my mind's eye, seeing my lower abdomen, the front of my belly, moving back towards my spine. And as I do that, I'm going to just tilt forwards a little bit with bent knees. And if anyone has high blood pressure or any issues with dizziness, please don't go too far forward. And definitely don't let your head drop below the level of your waist. So I'm going to move forward as I'm pressing very gently into the lower belly. And at the same time, I'm going to exhale through my mouth. So the breath is pressing. It's, up, it's like a bellows. You're pressing and the breath comes out your mouth as you bend forward. And then breathing in through the nose, coming back to upright, pushing into the feet in order to do so. 
So have a go at that then. Take a breath in through the nose and then pressing gently, leaning forwards, breathing out through the mouth. Breathe in. And as you breathe out, breathe out as much as you possibly can. Breathing out. <sighs> breathe in through the nose. Breathe out. <sighs> Thinking of expelling stale air from the very bottoms of your lungs. Breathe in. Couple more times. Last one. And coming back to upright. And allow the hands just to relax down by your side. Coming back to your normal abdominal breath. Breathing in and out through the nose. Now that we've rid the stale air, we're going to take in some lovely, clean, fresh air now. So this time, again, watching me, you're going to inhale through the nose. And at the same time, you're going to allow the hands to come out just to shoulder level, if that's comfortable for you. So really feeling this lovely expansion and broadness across the front of the chest area. And then at the, in this position, with the inhale held, you're going to hold the breath for a good period of time, longer than you would normally be using for breathing. So you can hold for quite a long time if you want, or if it's not comfortable for you, you can just let the breath go whenever you feel you need to. Now, for anyone with any heart disease, circulatory issues, dizziness, breathing difficulties, really just listen to your body. You don't need to hold the breath for very long. And so you don't want to make yourself feel dizzy or in any way uncomfortable. So you're just holding the breath a little bit beyond what you would be usually doing with your normal breath. So just watch me first. So hands are by the sides. You're taking a breath in through the nose and you're breathing out through the mouth again. So you inhale as much as you can, so a really big breath. And hands come out to the sides, feeling and in your mind's eye, seeing that lovely broadness and flow of chi across the front of the chest, holding the breath at this position. And then coming back to upright, exhale through the mouth. <sighs> Letting it all go. Again, exhaling as much as you can. So have a go at that with me now. So breathing in through the nose as much as you can. Hold the breath for a few seconds. Breathing out through the mouth. <sighs> Coming back to upright. So as you're letting the hands and the arms come up, you take a little, just a very little lean back. Nothing too drastic. Definitely don't drop the head and the neck back. Just a little movement backwards in the body. Breathing in. Hold it. Breathing out, <sighs> coming back to this lovely upright position. And one more time, breathing in as much as you can. Hold, let it go through the mouth, <sighs> expelling any waste breath with the exhale. And just coming back now to your normal abdominal breath. So that's a simple breathing and movement exercise in order to cleanse any stale air that might be hanging around in the lungs. And already you might feel that you are a little bit more kind of awake, a little bit less fatigued, a little bit more alive. If you feel into your fingers, you might feel that your fingers and your hands are a little bit tingly. And that represents the, the chi flow that's actually getting down there now into your hands as a result of creating more openness in the chest and the lung area. So we'll move on to the next exercise now, which is another one, again, working with opening up and encouraging the flow of chi, but this time through the lung channel. 
So the lung channel, where it is in the, on the, close to the skin surface, actually starts below the collarbones here. And you can trace it all the way down through the arm and then out the top of the thumb. So that's just have a rough idea of where the long channel is for the purpose of this exercise today. Um, you can look it up online anywhere. You'll be able to find it if you exactly want to know where it is. But what we're thinking of is really creating lovely openness and flow down through the whole of the arms and into the hands. So check your shoulders are nice and relaxed, first of all. And now just lifting up the hands and just make a big stop sign with both your hands, pressing into the heels of the hands, which is this part here. So when you do that, you'll feel a little bit of tension down the insides of the forearms, stretching those tendons and really stretching into that long channel. And then what I'd like you to do is make a loose fist with both hands and then lift up your index finger and your thumbs come out as well. So you're trying now to move your thumb, your thumbs as far away from your index finger as possible, keeping that focus on the heels of the hands. And from here, you should really already be feeling a bit of a stretch. Now my elbows are very slightly bent. They're not locked out, um, but I'm still feeling that they'll be stretched down the insides of the forearms. From here, take a breath in through the nose. And this time you're going to breathe out through the nose as you just move the hands away from each other. Breathing out and feeling that lovely stretch across the center of the chest, all the way down through the arms and even more now into the heels of the hands and the forearms. And now breathe in, coming back to that central position. Hands are at shoulder height. Breathe out through the nose. And in your mind's eye, see that long channel See the chi running down from below the collarbones all the way down each arm and out through the thumbs. And then breathing in, one more time. Breathing out. Maybe close your eyes to visualize that pathway as you breathe out. And breathing in. And now just relax the hands and just circle the wrists, but keep the arms up at shoulder level if that's comfortable for you. Now, one more time, so stop sign, loose fists, index fingers up and thumbs moving away from the index fingers, focusing on the heels of the hands, breathe in, breathe out, feeling that lovely expansion and thinking also into the back of the body, feeling the shoulder blades almost coming together, forming a little valley in between them, in the back of the, upper part of your back. Breathing in. Breathing out. Pushing into the heels of the hands, breathing in. Last one, breathing out. Now breathing in, come back to the center, close your eyes now and Allow the hands to drop down by your sides and focus your mind on the hands as you breathe in and out of the belly. Coming back to your abdominal breathing, in and out through the nose, and observe any sensations you feel from the chest all the way down through the shoulders, through the arms, the upper arms, the elbows, the forearms, the wrists, and all the way down through the hands into the fingers. And what I'm feeling right now is a lot of warmth in my shoulder joints, all the way down my hands, and lots of tingling in my fingers. My fingers feel a little bit swollen and nice and warm. Also, everything feels a little bit heavier. But some people I know get this lovely feeling of lightness as well. So it's different for everybody. <clears throat> and now gently opening the eyes. So that's a lovely exercise in order to open up the flow of chi and encourage the flow of chi through the lung channel, um, but really helping with the chest as well. So um, really, really nice exercise, quite tough on the shoulders. You'll build up a lot of kind of upper body and arm strength by doing that simple exercise and just having your hands in this position 
um, for a period of time. So I wouldn't recommend you go and do lots and lots of repetitions of that um, to start with, but you will be able to build them up quite easily. And you'll be surprised how quickly you can build up that strength in your arms and your shoulders. So we'll move on to the third exercise now. And this exercise is a lung strengthening exercise. And for this one, it's more to do with your breathing. So it does involve a little bit of breath holding. So again, for anyone with any cardiovascular disease, any problems with dizziness, high blood pressure, then you do not have to hold the breath. You can instead focus on a long, slow exhalation. So do be uh, careful with this exercise. Don't overdo it. If you experience any kind of dizziness whatsoever, please don't do it standing up. You can actually, you can absolutely sit for this exercise that in fact, often it's better to do that. So if you have a chair next to you and you want to grab that just to make yourself comfortable for this part, then please do so. So what I'd like you to do is just take your, um, take your pulse. So you're going to move, put your right hand, your right fingers onto uh, your index finger and your middle finger onto your left hand to be in a position where you can take your pulse and feel your pulse. So see if you can find your pulse there, first of all. I'll just give you a moment to do that. You might want to close your eyes just to really focus in on that for a moment. <clears throat> And I'm going to show you, first of all, what's involved in this exercise. So what you're going to do is take a breath in and the tongue will be resting on the roof of the mouth. So you're going to take a breath in and hold it. So that's an abdominal breath, breathing into your belly, feeling the belly expand and you hold it there. And you're going to hold it for, if you can, 20 beats of your pulse. Now, if you can't go for 20 beats, then go for 10 or go for whatever is comfortable for you. But again, a little bit of breath holding. And then when you've counted to 20 or whatever your number is, you're going to let the tongue drop down from the roof of your mouth and you're going to make a sound. Now the sound is song. And song in Chinese means relax. So, and it also has a special kind of frequency by saying this sound, it really helps to open everything up and really relax the flow of qi through the through all of the vessels through all of their pathways and also is very relaxing and kind of really helps to dilate blood vessels and improve flow on many levels as well there is another exercise which is the um, eight minute meditation on the home page of my website and that's called relax expand and nourish the heart and the relaxed part of that is the word song in chinese so if you want to have a go at that, then please head over to my web page and uh, it's at the bottom of the page. You can download that audio file. So taking the pulse, I'll just show you first. So I'm going to breathe in and I'm holding now with the tongue against the roof of my mouth and I'm counting for 20 beats. Keeping everything else nice and relaxed. And then when I breathe out, I let the tongue drop and I'm just saying, or even thinking, because thinking also works, the word song. Song. And if you can exhale again for as much as, as possible until all the air is gone, that's great, okay? So let's have a go at that three times. So find your pulse, first of all. Make sure you're comfortable, shoulders relaxed. You might want to close your eyes for this. Check that the tongue is against the roof of your mouth. Take a breath in and hold it. And count 20 beats or 10 beats, whatever you're comfortable with. And then when you're ready to let it go, let the tongue drop and say or think the word song, exhaling as much as you can. Song. And 
three times altogether. So twice more, breathing in. Tongue against the roof of the mouth. Counting the beads. Song. Take a few normal breaths in between. And when you're ready, go for the last round. Song. Coming back to your abdominal breath. Allow the hands just to relax by your sides or if you're sitting, let them rest in your lap. With the eyes closed, just observing how your breath is right now. How you feel in your mind. Do you still have any busy thoughts that you may have had at the beginning of the class or the exercise? Or do you feel as though you were really focused on what you were doing there? And your mind feels a little bit clearer now. And then gently opening the eyes. So that simple breathing exercise using the song sound and holding the breath for a number of pulse beats can actually help you over a period of time to bring down your breathing rate from the average, which would be maybe 15, 18 breaths per minute down to around six, between six and 12 breaths per minute. And when you are able to decrease your breathing rate like that, that's really showing you that your lungs are working that much more efficiently. You're actually taking in more oxygen and more breath, more air per breath. And so you don't need to breathe as often. Now, when I learned this, this was the kind of thing where we, was, we were told practice this, just do three rounds of it and practice that for three months and then see how you get on and then maybe do a few more rounds after that. So it was a very gradual introduction into breath holding. And as I said, if you're not comfortable holding your breath, then don't hold your breath, just continue with the exhalation, but make it a little bit longer. So never be uncomfortable when you're practicing Qigong, always listen to your body and do what's right for you at any particular time. So just to summarize then, the three exercises that you learned today in the, in the class in order to open up the chest, cleanse the lungs and thereby enhance the immune system, um, they were the first one, which was the lung cleansing one, where you were coming forwards and expelling the air and then also coming out and really expanding in the chest. The second one was using the hands in order to really help encourage the flow of chi through the lung channels all the way down the arms. And then the third one was this lovely breathing exercise to strengthen the lungs and help to decrease your breathing rate by using the song sound and a little bit of breath holding if it's comfortable for you. So you can put those three exercises together in sequence as we've just done today, or you can just take one at a time and practice. So whatever is comfortable for you and whatever, you can fit them into whatever time that you have available as well. They're all very simple and easy to follow along with, but what I would say is, and very, very much stress, do not stress yourself or hold your breath to the point of exploding because that's really not beneficial. Qigong should be comfortable and relaxed. But if you do practice some of those exercises on a regular basis, what you'll notice is that you feel more energized, less fatigued. 
you feel maybe a little bit lighter in your mood as well. And so, it, and also just really generally in terms of your posture, you'll find that the posture becomes a bit more open and a little bit more upright too. And it's something I think that we can all benefit from in a society where we spend most of our time or a lot of our time working in front of us forwards and hunched over with our lungs compressed. So do take some time every day just to expand and go the other way and really open up the chest. I hope you enjoyed this class today. And as always, if you have any questions, you can email me, Janice, at spacetorelax.com. You can leave a comment in the free Facebook group, which is Space to Relax free group, free Qigong group. Also, if you're not on my YouTube channel yet, please head over to YouTube. You can like and subscribe um, my, for my YouTube channel, which would be great. And we're going back to donating for the ICU nurses for the rest of these classes. And so if you do want to donate as a thank you, then 50% of the proceeds go towards the ICU nurses in my local hospital and the other 50% toward the upkeep of this website and editing of the videos. So um, I put the donation link in the, in the replay or in the text next to the replay when I send out the video. Thanks so much for watching everyone and I look forward to seeing you in the next class. If you enjoyed this Qigong lesson, then there are four things you can do right now. The first thing is to head over to my website, which is spacetorelax.com, and there you'll see that you can join up for a free three-part video series. The second thing you can do is click the link next to this video to sign up for the live Qigong classes. The third thing you can do is go over to Facebook if you're on Facebook and look for Space to Relax free Qigong group. That's my free group where you can post any questions and please do join the group. And the fourth thing is if you're watching this video on YouTube, then please hit the red subscribe button so that you don't miss any future videos from me. I really hope you enjoyed this lesson and look forward to seeing you in the next video.